Hello and welcome once again to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn the notification icon to get the latest updates about my new videos. Uh, in the previous video, I showed how I did the retouching from this to this, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a little bit of manipulation, background extension to this picture. So, if you've not watched that, the link is down in the description. You can actually watch that there. So, firstly, let's start by installing the background. You can see the background is not balanced here. There are more space on this side than this. So, we are going to be making adjustments to that. So, how are we going to do that? Let's go to our crop tool first. Click on our crop tool. I love using 5x7 as my default picture size. So, I want to be extending the picture to this side a little bit. So, let me just do that right now. So, I'll be dragging from this side. As you can see. As you can see right now, I'm just creating a little bit of space here. So, it's easy. Just click on your crop tool or you can click on C so as you can see right now we are adding a little bit of space here but it's showing that we also add a little bit of space down here also you can leave it that way or can just go back and redo it again so now let's do the extension we go to our normal rectangle mark way too so click on it we drag over this area drag it down make sure it's not touching the model either outfit or anything so now click on ctrl T for free transform Hold down your shift key, then drag to the right, drag to the left. Once you see the light, the red line is no longer showing you, remove your hand on the mouse, then click on OK. Then click on Ctrl D to deselect. Ctrl D. As you can see, but the red line is still showing a little bit. You can still go back, Ctrl Z. Now Ctrl T again, still hold down the shift key, drag, OK, click on OK, deselect back. So we are also going to do the same thing to this down aspect also this time around you know we are dragging also the model outfit also so let's just bring it down a little so we are not going to be dragging almost everything just a little bit of it to cover all this red line so ctrl t again hold down the shift key hold it down ctrl d to the select uh no one can find out we just did that down here so we're done with that. The next step is for you to remove the picture from the background before we do any manipulation to it. So how are we going to do that? Let's use our quick selection. Before we do that, let's duplicate this uh, image now that we just extend. Because if we turn it off right now, as you can see, it's still showing in the layers below. So Ctrl G to duplicate. Now we'll go to our quick selection too. If you are using the Photoshop version CC15 above, you should be able to do this perfectly. So once you click on your quick selection, click on select subjects, wait for the computer to make the selection for you. You just have to make few amendments to it. As you can see right now, it meets the selection is almost perfect, but there are still a little bit of changes needed there. So we are going to do the changes by ourselves. So just pick any of your brush. You can use a polygonal lazy to do that also. But I'll let me just use my quick selection tool to finish everything all together. So either by adding, adding to the selection or by subtracting from the selection. So let's keep doing that. Let's keep doing that. So we're almost done. As you can see this time around now it has cut off some area of the air so we can actually leave it this way but let's just extend it a little let me use my lag zoot to let me add to the selection of the air sorry country z addition so let me just add a little bit of it to it though the background is there but we are going to be working on that also as you can see right now we've cropped out the make your perfect selection so all you need to do now is just to click on your layer max so turn off all the background layer below turn everything off as you can see right now but as you can see there's still the background left in the air so we are going to make amendment to that right now just double click on your layer max so make sure you are picking the second brush over here you can just increase the size zoom in to see what you are doing very well Drop to the top so now trim over the edges now so it automatically is going to delete the backgrounds for you as you can see right now, 
removing the background which the, the air is still there so that's the best way to remove a uh, background from a picture especially when it comes to the air aspect so let us say we're done with that right now just click on our ok but there's still a little bit of color left there we are going to work on that also click your ok for now as you can see right now so this time around go to your image go to your layer sorry search for mating uh it's not showing it's not loading up because we are still selecting our layer marks this time around we are selecting the model on our own so go to your layer go for mating color color determinates click on it so i'm using 92 right now click on ok so automatically it's going to clear out the remaining color left in the background for you so we are done with the background selection the next thing for which now let us turn everything back again so i want there to be as if uh there's a glow at the center of the background so i love doing that a lot in my picture so i just click here i click the background and i scale that to the model then i will go to my dodge pick my dodge pick my dodge the mid tone make sure that 100 percent exposure then i'll enlarge my broad size I'll enlarge the size then i'll click at the middle a little just once click at the middle ones in case your mid tone is not doing for you you can actually use your highlights you and go for your highlights let's go for the highlights the highlights should be able to do it so let's just click once and let's see the result as you can see right now so as if the, there is a glow at the background so you can just if it's too much you can reduce the opacity of that layer a little bit so we're done with that the next thing we are um, going to do i'll bring just the texture background inside to ram everything up so that's the last thing that we're doing in this video so i'll go to where the background is located on my pc so my desktop then i'll drag it into photoshop i'll drag it as you can see just a little bit of texture so i'll just drag it then i'll rotate it to portrait then i'll make sure it fits it laps the picture so once it does i'll just click on my ok so i'll change the blend mode from normal i'll change it to soft light but you can see the saturation of the picture is too much so i can just reduce the saturation control u just reduce the saturation a little bit so once i'm done with that if it's still too much i can still reduce the opacity of the of this a little bit then I'll go to my blur, filter, blur. I want to blur the pattern I just brought in a little bit. Then I'll click on my Gaussian blur. So let me put a 5.0, it's okay for me. 5.0 is okay for me. So the next thing we need to do now, so let's merge everything we've done so far together. Let's merge it together. So I'll just merge everything together from here. Or we can just create a new alternate background. Everything we've done so far. Shift, Shift, Control, Alt, and E. So it's going to create a sample of everything we just did right now, as you can see over here. So I'm to turn off everything right now. As you can see, we still have in the picture here. As you can see right now. So for you to do that, Shift, Control, Alternate, E. So create a, a layer for everything you just did below. So let me just go to my camera I want to add a little bit of vintage to the edge of the picture. So I'll just go to my filter, then click on camera settings. Wait for it to load up. So I'll just go to my settings, under my settings I'll click on medium. This is my vintage in over here, so I'll just click on medium. Once it loads, I'll just click on my OK. As you can see, I've added a little bit of vintage here. So the last and final step, just want to color grid. I won't be doing much color grading here. Just be using the lots which I normally use, uh, which is named the natural color. Just click on my color lookup. Wait for the panel to load up. So just go to where it's located. Then I'll click on it, natural color. If it's too much, I'll reduce the opacity. So that's all about today's tutorials guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to like